The way this works in practice, and, I, and this is a point that I, I, I repeatedly make about zero-based budgeting, is that it encourages the filtering up of information. In effect, what zero-based budgeting does is it goes down to the, that mid-level manager that has local knowledge about the supply budget of a department someplace out, say, in St. Cloud, in my, in my city, and asks, hey, is there a way that we could deliver the same, the same products we did before at, at a, you know, the same, can we work with a smaller supply budget? Can we work with... Uh, can we, can we work with uh, hiring less temporary help in the summer? Can we reorganize in some way? To me, a lot of the, a lot of the budget process that we have is, is very much a, a top-down approach to budgeting. And I think that's encouraged by that, increment, that incremental budgeting process that we currently use. What the goal of zero-based budgeting is, members, is, that, is to encourage the filtering up of information of that person that knows, hey, we don't really need that copier over there, or hey, the, that student worker we've been using, we don't, really, we don't really need either. It will encourage that information to filter up through the process. And that, that I believe, is what's going to provide you for some cost control and indeed a good bit of savings.